Engine manufacturers are racing to develop new options for the aviation industry that reduce fuel consumption and ensure reliability while also being reasonable in cost. It seems Airbus is the biggest beneficiary from this competition. This group will inherit the most advanced new designs for their future aircraft. Even though there was a CFM rise available in its selection, Airbus still wanted more. So what is Airbus's plan? Will the new engines be able to defeat CFM's open fan engine? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please help us improve this channel even further by double checking that you've hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our updates. Now let's dive in. It has been 10 years since the first flight of the A320neo in 2014. This aircraft is an upgraded engine version of the A320 narrow body passenger aircraft. And now Airbus has begun laying the groundwork for an A320neo successor that will appear at the end of the next decade, specifically designed around the use of sustainable aviation fuel. This is part of a global effort to reduce carbon emissions in the aviation industry. CFM International announced the RISE program on June 20th, 21, with plans to enter service in the mid-2030. At the 2022 Farnborough Air Show, CFM International and Airbus announced plans to begin flight tests for the RISE engine on an Airbus A380-based testbed in the second half of the decade. Although Airbus has targeted this new engine as the manufacturer's choice for the next generation of new aircraft, the company still wishes to have more options for rotation. This is not too strange, because Airbus always prepares two options instead of a single engine type on its narrow-body aircraft. For example, for the A320neo, with the aim of saving more fuel, Airbus used CFM International Leap 1A and Pratt and Whitney PW1000G engines and new wingtips, allowing for 15% to 20% savings compared to the previous CEO version. That's why, although still using CFM Rise, Airbus still looks forward to future open rotor architectures. It can be said that engine architecture will change the aviation industry in the future. Open fan engines are generally more fuel efficient than jet engines, especially at low to moderate speeds and altitudes. This helps airlines reduce aircraft operating costs. They are suitable for short flights or on routes with complex terrain. Because this engine operates more efficiently at low speeds, it is easy to integrate with aircraft operating in short or small airports. The open fan engine provides powerful thrust even at low speeds, giving the aircraft the ability to take off and land on short or substandard runways. Obviously, this is very useful for flights to remote or mountainous areas. At low speeds, open fan engines typically make less noise than jet engines, helping to reduce noise pollution in areas surrounding the airport. Moreover, it is suitable for many different types of aircraft, from small passenger aircraft and cargo aircraft to military and rescue aircraft. Their ability to operate in a variety of terrain and weather conditions makes them a versatile choice for a variety of missions. With so many advantages, Airbus's expectation is that this new engine is completely well-founded. CEO Guillaume Fauré shared that if the open rotor architecture works, we would like to be able to compete and potentially have two solutions. However, it is not certain that Airbus can have any other options. Because instead of developing the open fan concept, the remaining two major manufacturers are interested in the gear turbofan concept. Specifically, Pratt & Whitney is researching the GTF engine, and Rolls-Royce is also taking steps to develop its super-large ultrafan. It's unclear whether they still have the motivation to start another open fan engine program. Faced with this reality, Forey is not worried at all. He pointed out that the 737 or A350 program can still work well even without many engine options, so the RISE program is still the original choice. Other things may or may not be available, but CFM RISE is indispensable. Safran Vice President of Engineering, Research and Technology Pierre Cottonceau, said that since the project launched in 2021, the partners have completed more than 100 tests with more than 1,000 engineers working on work in the program. The partners are aiming to introduce a single open fan engine around 2035 with the goal of being 20% more fuel efficient than today. Open fan architecture will provide a step change in performance compared to ducted fans. RISE technologies will be 100% sustainable aviation fuel compliant. What's more, passengers will benefit from lower noise compared to the Leap 1A engine. The program is developing key hydrogen engine building blocks. 
next generation compressor technologies and materials, and hybrid electric powertrains. The tests included static and dynamic fan blade tests, including absorption and vibration. There were also tests of a one to five scale wind tunnel model of an open fan and testing of aerodynamics and acoustics. On the aircraft integration front, the engine manufacturer's partners are deploying supercomputing capabilities combined with Airbus's state-of-the-art systems testing, allowing for acoustic optimization. Recently, in an effort to address the main challenges in implementing hydrogen-powered aviation in Spain, Airbus will join Spanish airport managing company, ENA, Spanish regional airline Air Nostrum, national flag carrier Iberia, and fuel storage and transportation leader Exelum. This collaboration will provide partners with a comprehensive view of hydrogen-powered aircraft and a way to integrate it into the airport ecosystem. It will focus not only on hydrogen supply and infrastructure, but also on specific requirements for ground operations at airports. All towards the ultimate goal of promoting and supporting the development of the hydrogen aviation ecosystem in this country. Given Spain's great potential in renewables and low carbon hydrogen production, it is essential that the aviation industry as a whole collaborates to secure a future end-to-end -end hydrogen supply chain up to the airports, said Karin Guenon, Airbus Vice President, Zero e Ecosystem. Maria Jose Sanz, Director of Quality and Environment at Air Nostrum, added, As a regional airline, we can be relevant in the project because we have the necessary conditions to become the first implementers of hydrogen technology, thanks to the size of our aircraft and the average distance we fly. Airbus launched the Hydrogen Hub at Airports program to promote the further expansion of hydrogen infrastructure in aviation. And to date, agreements have been signed with partners and airports in 13 countries, including Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, New Zealand, Norway, Singapore, Spain, South Korea, Sweden, the United Kingdom, and the United States. In the next generation single aisle program from Airbus and Boeing, nothing is too certain about the engines the manufacturers will use. But there is one factor that will play a very important role, composite materials. That's right, this material that is durable, can withstand high pressure, is light and difficult to deform, will be a factor contributing to changing the aviation industry. An example can be mentioned is the 787 Dreamliner program. This is considered a breakthrough change in the use of composite materials for commercial aircraft. The aircraft's structural design, which was approximately 50% composite, was superior to any other large commercial aircraft at the time. Therefore, the production of 787 requires significant investment in carbon fiber manufacturing capabilities and parts. It also paves the way for wider adoption of new programs, such as the Boeing 777X or the Airbus A350 and A220. It is typically lighter than traditional metals such as aluminum and steel, helping to reduce the weight of the aircraft. This results in fuel savings and reduced operating costs. High mechanical strength and good bearing capacity are also strengths of this material. It is also less susceptible to corrosion than metal, helping to prolong the life of parts and helping airlines limit maintenance costs. In particular, composites have good electrical and thermal insulation properties, helping to protect electronic systems and reduce heat loss. Some advanced composite materials are self-healing, helping to repair small cracks and extend the life of parts. The applications of composite materials in aviation are extremely diverse. It includes components such as wings, fuselage, tail, vertical and horizontal tail fins, as well as interior components and avionics. Airbus is strategically positioning itself to leverage the latest advancements in engine technology to develop the next generation of fuel-efficient, sustainable aircraft. By exploring multiple engine options, including CFM's RISE open fan engine, and engaging in partnerships for hydrogen-powered aviation, Airbus aims to significantly reduce carbon emissions and operating costs. As the aviation industry evolves, Airbus's proactive approach ensures it remains at the forefront of innovation, addressing environmental concerns and operational challenges. The company's commitment to diverse engine solutions and sustainable practices promises a transformative impact on commercial aviation, paving the way for greener, more efficient air travel. 